There's a bunch of them that are very creepy that if I wasn't getting paid to go in them, I wouldn't be going in them at night. 350 High, um, Russell House. Is what? Uh, that's definitely the most creepiest. <laughs> when you go inside, it's just old and the floors squeak and the eyes on the pictures on the wall follow you. It's just creepy. Everything makes noise in there, but no one's in there. Every public safety officer has had experiences in Russell House. Only two agreed to talk on camera. The first night I had to go down in the basement and while I'm in the basement, I hear all the noises upstairs and I know for sure I was the only one in the building. Sometimes you hear footsteps going up the stairs but you're the only person in the building. And then you'll stop to make sure, you know, you're not freaking out that it's not your footsteps echoing. But no, you'll hear like a, another like three, four, five more footsteps. When I set the alarm, if somebody was in there, the alarm would go off. And there's been many nights that I've heard things that sound like a person, but the alarm never goes off. One time I tried to, you know, test my nerve and, you know, say, was anyone here? And I just only heard something fall. So ever since that day, I haven't done that. I just go there and do what I have to do and try to get out. The Samuel Russell House is a national historic landmark built between 1828 and 1830 for Samuel Russell, a sea trader who founded Russell and Company, a firm to export goods from China and India. A central figure in China trade, his fast clipper ships outran English merchantmen and pirates on the China Sea. Since then, the Russell house has had many lives. Several generations of the Russell family lived in the house until it was gifted to Wesleyan University in 1937. It served as Wesleyan's Honors College and currently an administrative building. It is also speculated, but not proven, that the house was a stop on the Underground Railroad. It is over 180 years old. Over the years, there have been several accounts of voices, shadows, footsteps, and apparitions appearing to faculty, staff, and public safety officers. In response to these claims, we contacted the Thames Society of Paranormal Investigations, or TSPI, to take a closer look at the house. We're here to provide something tangible to people, something to validate their personal experiences. Well, I'm really excited to investigate the Russell House. For us, the biggest thing is to help people. I think the one thing that people should know about our group is we're not for flash. We try to take a scientific approach to everything. People that are in fear of the paranormal or don't know how to handle the paranormal or don't know what they're feeling at all, we come in and try to give them some sense of comfort. What we do specifically when we investigate is we go into an area, we take base readings, we set up all of our camera equipment with night shot on it so we can see in the dark. We have digital voice recorders and we use digital cameras, other handheld video cameras, plus we also take EMF readings, temperature readings. On Monday, October 20th, 2014, three members of TSPI and two members of Wesleyan staff spent the night at Russell House. The following is the result of the investigation. Throughout the night, TSPI cameras were knocked down and turned in rooms where no one was present. Footsteps were recorded and no one was walking through the building. Oh my god. I just heard some footsteps. Audio pollution was recorded while the team was in the basement. We would really like it if you did some things for us. Oh crap. You heard that knock? Right before the loud noise? Mm -hmm. Can you make a noise similar to that? We never get this kind of interference with our radio, so that's a good point. Really? Never. Despite the evidence collected that night, we can neither confirm nor deny the presence of the paranormal. The campus is old. The color of the bricks doesn't help. It just looks like Halloween every night on campus. I think Russell House stands alone. I, I, don't, pre I don't mind the other buildings too much. Maybe a little bit of Olin, but Olin's so big, you know, I, I really think it's just the echoes, especially when you're walking in the stacks and things like that. But um, 
Russell House stands alone. Many questions still remain. All we can do is savor the ambiguity and listen when others are asleep. <laughs>